Hey guys, Big Boss here, and today I'll be talking about my experience with the uh, Division Beta. Um, really impressed with this beta, even though it had its beta problems like invisible people and stuff like that. Um, it got me really excited for the Division, which was a title that I was not looking forward to this year at all. Um, I don't really get behind Tony, uh, Tony Hawk. Don't buy Tony Hawk. Uh, Tom Clancy games. Um, they're usually just average shooters. I'll buy them if like a bunch of buddies are getting them. Um, you know, but I never really consider them like a must buy. If it's like three bucks at GameStop, I'll buy it. But the division is different. Um, I will be I will be buying this day one, um, and pretty much will establish establish 301 in the world of division. So uh, look forward to more videos by me, Tony, and the real. Um, but back to the division. So the game is a third person shooter. With a cover system and RPG elements overlaid top, on top of it. Um, RPG elements work great with the guns. They have attributes, uh, damage outputs, and stuff like that. Um, but you do have weapon customization. So, like, you know, you can have four grips, laser sights, uh, holographic sights, ACOG, stuff like that. Um, though I will say I have a huge complaint. Uh, not Well, not huge, but uh, a complaint nonetheless. Uh, if I have a four grip on my gun, I can't put a laser sight on the side rails, even though the gun has side rails and bottom rails. I think that's ridiculous. Um, I think it's to, to balance the weapon, but if it's a balancing technique, how about you just lower down the attributes of the uh, individual accessories? Then we'll be good. All right, Ubisoft? Cool. Um, other than that, the game looked great, considering the amount of downgrades it has. Um, I don't think it's the best-looking game to come out this year. I don't think it's the best-looking game to be out for a little bit. Um, but it does itself wonders, considering, you know, what it's been through. The map is pretty decent, though we have seen the whole map in the beta. It's actually not as big as uh, I thought it was going to be, even after the downgrade. Um, but that being said, the, the beta map felt big enough. Uh, we didn't really feel like we were going to the same places, except when we, you know, the extraction zones were in the same spot, or like where we knew where the people would spawn. Which I do hope uh, the spawning of the character uh, NPCs will change in the dark zone um, to be more random because, like, it like I said, it's not a huge problem, but like they became like we knew where to go. Um, but once the whole maps open up, we'll get to explore, and then there'll be indoor places to go with the keys you find, and then there's also uh, an underground network. The Ubisoft said there is. So the map, I'm skeptical, but I'm I'm also more so optimistic. Um, overall, I'm optimistic for this game. Ubisoft has a you know a terrible track record with games as of late, uh, spawning back with uh, Assassin's Creed Unity. Um, Syndicate I heard was okay. I didn't risk buying it. Uh, I don't think anybody should buy Assassin's Creed anymore. Though, I think it worked. They're reevaluating the Assassin's Creed franchise right now, so that's a plus. It's no longer annual. Um, but there is a Watchdog sequel, which... Anyway, back to this game. Uh, fun shooter. Fun party game uh, when you're playing with friends. You can have up to three people in your group, so it's four-man parties. Um, if you're in the dark zone, you need buddies. It's, you feel safer. Um, and also, if you come across rogue agents, you're more likely to survive and keep your loot. Rogue agents can are agents that essentially have gone <laughs> rogue. Um, and have killed other agents um, for their loot or their Dark Zone credits, because I'll get into more about that later. Um, and either you avoid them, or you try to take them on and get their loot and their credits and a bonus um, XP boost. Um, so there's incentives to kill them. There's also incentives to be rogue. I don't really think the incentives to be rogue are better than the incentives to kill rogues. So I take the moral high ground and kill rogues. But Tony, on the other hand, likes to go rogue and take what he can get. I'm not knocking him. Um, as long as I'm not close enough to him in our party, I won't go rogue. If, I, if I'm, like, next to him and he shoots somebody and he goes rogue, I'll go rogue. But if I'm, like, 50 feet away from him and he goes rogue, I'm good. I don't have to worry about it. So, you know, Tony, right now I'm letting you know, if you go rogue, I'm not sticking up for you, buddy. Um, unless you, you drag me down into that mess. But, um, so there's two, essentially two parts of the game. The PvE area, which is like the more story-based. Um, there will be story elements in the Dark Zone. But then there's the PvP area, per se, 
which is the dark zone. And the dark zone is technically, I'm going to say right now, is the end game. Um, the best loot is in there. Uh, the It's a hostile environment. It kind of reminds me of playing uh, Red Dead Redemption. I don't know if you all played that open world game back when it was out. Uh, if, if you haven't, you should. I think the servers are still up, actually. Um, but everyone got into that Wild West mentality. Like, you know, oh, you, you come across somebody. Do I shoot them? Nah, I'll wait till they shoot me kind of deal. That's how the division is. Um, you come across agents, you don't know if they're good. So you, there's emotes. You put your hands up like, Hey, I'm friendly. They'll, if they do the same thing, then you're good. If you see a gun get pulled up, you either got to get to cover. Or you got to, hopefully you don't have gear on you and just take the death. Um, and I really like that. I like, I like the tension, um, in the dark zone. The dark zone is going to be my, where I stay mostly in the game. Um, the only time I'll be in PVE is to level up myself to use the guns I find in the dark zone. Um, so, and to continue the story, which I'm really not interested in. Uh, other than that, the, the dark zone, pretty much, I talked about, I mean, hinted at it earlier, you level up separately in the dark zone. Um, so as you kill people, you don't actually level yourself up, uh, your character, but you get dark zone experience points and that determines what you can buy in the dark zone and then what areas you can go into the dark zone and how much, you know, how much damage you do and stuff like that. Um, you also collect Dark Zone credits that's used to buy ultra-rare guns in the Dark Zone. Um, I, in the beta, there was two exotics that you can buy with the credits, so I bought the ACR and the shotgun. Um, there will be more guns, they said. Um, but the Dark Zone will have all the good stuff, all the good gear. Um, also has a higher rate to drop better cosmetic items, stuff like that. Um, but yeah, as you just saw, I just got killed by people who decide to go rogue right then and there. Um, so it's really cutthroat, and I like it. And so say, you know, you, you've gone through and you collected gear and stuff, and you're like, all right, I'm done, I'm going to go out. You have to extract your gear via helicopter because of the contamination factor, so they have to decontaminate it. And then when they once you extract it, it'll be back at home base for you to pull out your storage container. Well, when you call in the helicopter, it notifies everybody in the map. And there's, been, there's like designated areas, like I said before, um... And so you sit there and you wait, I think it was like a hundred, I mean a minute and 60 seconds. <coughs> um, those, that's like, like the longest minute of my life. And you're sitting there and then all of a sudden you start seeing people come up and you don't know if they're friendly or not. Um, it, it just adds to the tension. You know, nine times out of ten they were friendly. They're like, hey, I just want to get my stuff on the helicopter too. And you're like, all right, cool, you know. Um, or, you know that one time out of 10 and they decide to come in and wreck, uh, wreck your life. Um, I will say though, the game you should play, shouldn't play in party chat. You should play Tony brought this attention to my, to my attention. We should play, uh, in the game because you can actually communicate with people. Um, it's a proximity chat system. So you can be like, Hey, Hey, I'm friendly. And they can be like, okay, I'm friendly too. If they have a mic. Um, so that way it makes it a little bit easier, a little less stressful. Cause when we, you know, we are in party chat, we can't communicate with the people in the world. Um, so that, you know, try that out. Also, the beta is coming back. Do try it. I think it's an open beta this time. It's not closed. Definitely try it out. I suggest you trying out the beta for yourself to see um, if it's your cup of tea. It's my cup of tea. I'm really excited for it. Um, oh, and the beta, it comes out the February 19th. So it's next week from posting of this video. Street Fighter V comes out next week. Stay tuned for that. Um... But yeah, if you see me in the division, I'll most likely be hunting uh, rogue agents in the dark zone. Um, you know, hit us up on our fa uh, Facebook page and the YouTube channel. Um, if you want to try to roll with us, we'll try to, you know, incorporate the community with us. You know, get, help you guys out too. And maybe, you know, you can experience it with us. Um, so hopefully we'll see you then. I really like the division. Um, I'm buying it. And here's a couple clips of us playing it. So I'll see you next time, guys. Good job, dude. I'm up there. Wait.
was it. I see him, I see him, I see him, I see him, I see him. Oh, he's he's posted up. He's running, he's running. No, he's he's rogue. Yeah, I'll let Tony deal with him. Maybe you're gonna be on the YouTube channel, man. You're gonna be on YouTube. You're gonna be famous. Yeah, yeah. These damn cleaners need to pop the hell off, man. This this beta ain't getting any younger. <laughs>